Hey everyone, my name's Lisa Solomon. I'm the author of this book called A Field Guide to Color. Um, it's a color theory slash fun exercise workbook, um, and there's room in it for you to paint alongside my prompts, kind of like this. I've started painting in a copy of um, the book just to see kind of how it would work. The pages are really nice and thick, and I am a huge Sakura Koi watercolor travel set fan. Um, this is the set that I had been using, um, and then I recently got the Giant 60 set, which has so many beautiful colors in it. Um, and one of the things that I like to do is something that I call color meditations. Um, and it's a way to kind of explore color and sort of play with paint. This is actually the first one I ever did in a sketchbook. I was thinking about garlands and wanting to paint dots and trying out some different saturation scales within the colors. Um, but these color meditations are a big part of the book. There's one in between every single chapter. And I also use them as a way to kind of learn about my paints and the colors that are come in a set and how they work. And one of the things that I like to do when I first get a set is just paint something really simple, like some stripes um, or some dots or something, just to kind of understand how the colors work, how saturated they are, how they look next to each other. And I just go in the order of the paints and I find it to be a really sort of relaxing and meditative process. So I'm gonna walk you through one or actually time-lapse one for you just so you can see what it looks like when I do a color meditations of lines with this 60 color set. I'm using a hot press, which is a smooth finish and 300 gram weight. So it's a really thick watercolor paper. Um, and an angled brush. I really love these angled brushes, although I have to say the brushes that come with the Koi watercolor sets are pretty awesome and great for taking on the road. These are some of my absolute favorite travel brushes of all times. Um, and the sponges that come in the kits are also so helpful for cleaning off the brushes in between colors. It's all in here. It's all in one place. It's so great. The whole idea for me with color meditations is that they're fun, they're playful, they allow me to try color combinations that maybe I wouldn't try normally. And also they do actually make me feel like I'm meditating, like I'm doing a mindful practice that is good for me, but it's in a way that makes sense to me as a painter and an artist. In fact, I like doing the stripes so much that I did them again, <laughs> but I did them bigger um, just to kind of see what would happen so I could fill up the entire page. Uh, and if you're interested, I currently have a class on Creative Bug that's all about color meditations. Um, I'm giving you 30 days of prompts on Creative Bug. You can follow them. Um, and there's also 15 different prompts in the book, A Field Guide to Color. You can also follow me. I'm at Lisa Solomon. Or you can follow the book, A Field Guide to Color, with underscores in between each word. And obviously, you should follow Sakura USA because they always show really great artists using their tools and really interesting ways. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you color meditate and if you do, tag me so I can see it. Bye!